She adopted a tiny puppy, but never expected this. There's a certain thrill that only comes from bringing home a new puppy. The soft fur and puppy dog smell, the little life that depends entirely upon you for its care and needs. It's a huge responsibility and yet is one of the greatest friendships. There's something rather special about this love between man and beast. There's something incomparable about the love of a dog. But sometimes it can all go terribly wrong. There's a huge worldwide debate raging among dog owners at the moment. I'm sure you've heard about the adopt don't shop movement, but in China owning a dog is nothing like anywhere else in the world. Having a dog as a pet is not something that many families are able to do. Living in high-rise buildings with limited space makes owning any animal much more difficult than those of us with gardens. Life with a furry companion is the exception rather than the norm, but that's all changing. That being said, there's a fast-growing trend in China of people wanting to own an animal as a companion especially children. The smaller breeds of dogs that are able and can live inside are definitely the animal of choice, closely followed by the second worldwide favorite, cats. Both however are far more expensive to buy there than you would imagine. As families are having more than one children, since the one child per family law was done away with, there are a growing number of homes with pets too. I mean kids just naturally love small fluffy animals, so there's a growing market for animals that are suited to live indoors as well as being suitable family animals. Miss Wang didn't have a child, but she'd always wanted a dog of her own, and she waited until she was able to offer the little ball of fluff everything. But it wasn't to be. While a lot of people love the sentiment of adopting a shelter dog, giving it a new home and better life, it does pose a series of risks. What will the dog's temperament be? How big will it grow? Is it going to be active or a couch potato? So to avoid all those unknown traits, Miss Wang went to a pet shop to buy a purebred dog, particularly the Japanese Spitz, which was her dream dog. But she was getting in over her head. Miss Wang from China's Shangxi province had known for a long time that the Japanese Spitz was the dog she wanted and she'd spoken to as many people as she could who knew of the breed. But it was by happenstance that when a friend mentioned a pet store that specialized in the Japanese Spitz, she decided to act. She was going to get her puppy. The Japanese Spitz is a small to medium sized dog that's been bred to suit people who want a companion animal. They're bigger than their cousins, the incredibly cute Pomeranians, and just as fluffy. They were developed in Japan in the 1920s and 1930s and they're becoming wildly popular, mostly because of their relaxed temperament and other features such as lush fluffy locks that are not very difficult to groom. She walked into the shop, as she had so many other before, and saw the large enclosure that contained just one bored puppy. She knew immediately that it was fate, for this wasn't a dog that was always available. This was going to be the dog of her dreams. She rushed over to pet and cuddle the friendly fluffy white pup and she bought him on the spot, along with everything a puppy could ever desire. A posh bed, grooming tools, gourmet food, and of course every toy available. The beautiful white pup was only a few weeks old when she got him and the price was much lower than she expected it to be at only $190. She'd seen them advertise for far more than that but she didn't think much of it since the shop she was at was recommended by a friend. But as time wore on her friend and others started to notice something peculiar about the puppy. Miss Wang ignored everyone and soon made it know that she adored the little animal and wouldn't let other people talk badly about it even though some of the comments were true. For one thing, the little animal was not very talkative. In fact, he'd never barked. But that was a good thing when living in an apartment building, right? A less ideal habit was forming the longer she kept it too. The potty training was not going to plan at all. And what was worse was that it always happened while she was asleep. She felt sad that her dog didn't want to spend any time with her when she loved it so much. He was always asleep while she was awake and running amok when she was asleep. So she decided to have a vet check the little one out when he got his vaccinations. But she didn't have a clue what the doctor was about to tell her. Happy that her pet seemed to be in great health but filled with questions, she arrived at the vet ready for an ordinary checkup. The other animals around the room reacted to this latest arrival with fear, hiding from sight under chairs or in their carriers and barking incessantly. 
Wishing to be done as soon as possible, Miss Wang forgot all her questions and was walking out the door when the vet said she should probably speak to the zoo. The request left her puzzled, but not for long. The pup had just reached three months old when Miss Wang herself admitted that he didn't seem to be growing to look like a Japanese spit should. Sure, he was gleaming white and his coat was becoming very thick, but that's where the similarities ended. She remembered the strange comment about asking someone at the zoo and decided to see if the experts could tell her anything. When she arrived at the zoo, the staff were startled that the animal was walking on a lead wearing a designer collar. They were helpful and tried to be gentle as a staff member told her, based on the size, it's a domesticated fox. It carries a smell in its body and the smell can get stronger as it grows older. Suddenly, Tan, an expert in animal epidemic prevention at Taiyuan Zoo, confirmed the animal to be a fox when Miss Wang brought it in for an examination. Miss Wang couldn't believe her ears. The Japanese Spitz breed was made to resemble a fox, but this was an actual, real-life wild animal that she'd been raising in her home for almost a year. The fur got thicker when it reached three months old, its face became pointy, and its tail grew longer than that of a normal dog. Other pet dogs seemed to be scared by my pet, so I walked it on a leash. She now had a difficult decision to make. Should she keep the animal because she loved it, or should she give it the best chance at having as close to a natural life as possible? The zoo staff seemed to think that taking the fox pup back home wasn't the wisest choice, and they even gave Miss Wang all the reasons why. The fox would continue to grow up and become less manageable in a small home, as well as start to get that very musky smell that wild creatures have, too. Miss Wang thought back to how difficult it had actually been to raise the fox pup and all the small things that made sense now. The failed potty training, the scared pets in the park, and of course the most concerning reason of all. Miss Wang regularly fed the puppy fruit, chicken breasts, and dog food, but it began rejecting all of the options she offered it when it reached three months old, and she'd been struggling to feed him anything for a while now. She constantly worried about the young white fox's health now, despite wanting and giving him the best she could. It was ultimately decided that the fox should go on to live at the zoo. It was the only place that allowed the animal to live out its life as naturally as possible. Staying with Miss Wang would only cause the animal distress in the long run. If she had the choice, she would have wanted him to live a natural life, but it simply wasn't an option. Even though the pup was a wild animal, having been raised as a domestic dog puppy would not do it any good in the wild. He wouldn't know what to be fearful of, especially humans, as he wasn't scared of them one bit, or even how to get his own food. He'd only ever known being served food in a dish. But the decision does come with a happy ending. Miss Wang went to drop off her beautiful white fox at the local zoo and was overjoyed to learn that she would be able to visit him whenever she missed him. She'd been worried for so long that she couldn't provide her dog with everything he needed, but it turns out that she really did. The zoo would make sure the fox's needs were met and Miss Wang will probably think twice about getting another dog from some shifty breeder.